Hello guys and welcome then to our second group game of the 2019 FA People's Cup. We're playing a team called Green Keys who somewhat disappointingly play in red, not green. But um, anyway, they won their first group game as did we. So someone's 100% record has got to go in this one. As we see the ball early on finding the feet of Ant there from Sam. Great pass um, and slotted away. And, and I know it says Greeno there. I don't know why I've written Greeno, but don't worry. The stats have been altered. Everything is completely fine. I know you're very precious about your goals and the stats. And as am I, mate, I'm a perfectionist. So don't worry, I've, I've realised my wrong. I just can't really be bothered to go back and re-edit that because that will take more time than it's worth. As we see the ball going forward again, increasing twisting and turning, finding a little bit of skill from out of nowhere there. Sometimes I think his brain just switches off and sometimes things happen because he's definitely not clever enough to imagine doing things like that himself. Um, but he managed to find a goal and another assist for Sam there, finding his passing boots early in this one and two goals up inside 30 seconds it is as we go down the other end of good feet from Greeno as well coming inside again the shot that's a good save from the keeper out to Ant and he's got good feet on him as well but can't quite toe poke it past the goalkeeper um, yes and if you haven't seen the previous video it's like a little format here with uh, doing pretty much the whole games with little little cuts here and there um, because of the sheer amount of people that ask to see the full games they are only 10 minutes long so these videos are only about 8 or 9 minutes so it's not too long and there is an awful lot of action in these small pitches. Five side games. You see Joe there. First thing he's had to do in the game, he's almost spilled it into the back of his own net, but just manages to stop it from going across the line. Um, so yeah, a little bit more casual with the coverage this year. Um, unfortunately, in this game as well, we were shooting the other way that we'd like to. Normally, we'd have the GoPro in the goal that we're shooting into, but the other team got down the other end. And with the sun this year, because it was so sunny and so hot, um, yeah, the footage wouldn't have been good. There'd been big sunspots and everything on the camera. So uh, yeah just made sense to keep the GoPro here and we've got the ability to crop and zoom as well which is lovely so we can see what's going on up the other end as well and as it stands the majority of the action has been up that other end of the ball in the corner there after it goes over head height uh, they're giving it straight away to Greeno though and it's a good strike from Greeno and a good save from the goalkeeper um, obviously if it goes over head height off the goalkeeper uh, it's just play on the situation it's only if it goes um, over off an outfield player that a free kick is awarded they see good defensive work from Creasy there, the ball in the corner. Um, and now Joe with the distribution out to the right hand side. Greeno coming inside and can't quite get the shot away. And it comes into Creasy, um, finds himself trapped in the corner really. You get yourself into a corner, it's very difficult to get out. And that's all we can really do is come back and just play it back as we go back to the goalkeeper there. And what a throw that is by Joe. At the time, I was absolutely disgusted by that. And you can see Ant looking back at him there, looking at that again. Um, yeah, absolutely lovely. Um, and we see that it's gone down as Greeno's second goal, but it's not as Greeno's first goal. Um, and a great assist there from Joe. Um, yeah, to set him up and put him through. Um, as you see, we've got ourselves a free kick now. And going for the shot, and he just pulls it wide. But Sam following in, and it's spilled out to the right hand side. And sorry, no, that was Greeno following in. Uh, Sam following in again at the back stick. Um, and just really smacking it at the goalkeeper shins and gets a deflection um, into the back of the net so that'll be Sam's first goal ever in the FA People's Cup which we like to see uh, yeah normally we've got a good record of getting everyone in the squad on the score sheet so hopefully that happen again this season as I get myself onto the pitch and go for a little run there using the wall um, to my advantage but unfortunately I can't quite finish it do manage to get it back to Ant though and he just dances around goalkeeper sitting the goalkeeper down and that is now 5-0 his second of the game lovely finish from him and you would have seen in the last game I did something very very similar and you can see where I learned it from now watching Ant over the years you do pick up a few things in the art of finishing so um, yeah really really good start from us in this game 5 new up within only 4 minutes of starting and the ball now comes out to me on the right hand side and I've just managed to squeeze that in that's unlucky for the goalkeeper really um, not the best finish but the power beat in the end I think it's 6-0 now with only four minutes on the clock um, as I can come forward now looking for Greeno on the far side and he's just gone a little bit too wide there and a very good save from the goalkeeper it's not easy when you're just getting bludgeoned uh, people taking shots left right and centre at you you get um, yeah, a lot of work to do as he's rolled it straight to Greeno there and I don't know what he's tried to do he's hit that way too hard over the top and very sensibly taking himself off after that and Ant as well very good performance from Ant so far in this one as Sam and Creasy come on um, and the games are just 10 minutes flat um, without any stoppages so you kind of do subs you don't take you don't stop the game for the subs you just roll on roll off whenever you can um, so you see 
the boys coming onto the pitch and getting straight into the action then. Um, a little bit disappointed, I think it's got to be said, with Green Keys. They've definitely had some good players and uh, playing against them, they didn't seem like a bad team. But um, we've made this look very, very comfortable so far in this game. Um, we're expecting a little bit of a tougher battle, I think. But I say it's a shame because they've got some very, very good individuals, just not really been able to string any passes together in this game. As we say in that, I'm managing to put a few passes together ourselves. Find its way out to Sam, comes in to me, and one of those where you just really get your head down, close your eyes and hit it as hard as you can. Unfortunately for me, that's gone in the near top corner. And now 7-0 we find ourselves with five minutes on the block. So we could be potentially going for our biggest ever win. Oh, well, that shut me up very quickly, isn't it? I forgot about that. Steve <laughs> ruins Joe's clean sheet. Steve not scored for us in this one, but he's now successfully got himself on the opponent's score sheet. Um, I'm go there, just toe poking it in. They're horrible when they come across the box like that. As, um, yeah, I got down. I thought that was going to be my tournament ended there, but fortunately I managed to bounce back up. Um, yeah, Joe probably not too happy with Steve there, but Steve's trying to stop the man at the back post getting on in. Unfortunately, just toe pokes it straight into the bottom corner, and that is now 7 1 and minus 1 goals for Steve. Um, as you see, the ball in the corner again, just getting trapped up a bit, and then we will have to come back there with Steve. And don't, don't kick it in the goal, Steve! He didn't. Comfortably found the hands of Joe there as we see Sam trying to get down that byline and do something we really can't quite cut it back. Now he finds himself in the corner, so it'll be difficult to get out of there, just bouncing out. And now Green King's coming the other way. And some defensive work from yours truly there as well, which I do like to see when I kind of make you feel a bit better about myself when I do actually see myself working back on camera. Um, uh, but yeah, Green Key's doing well in the last couple of minutes really to keep us a bit more quiet. No real massive opportunities. Uh, whether we've taken our feet off the gas or not, I don't know. Um, or whether they've just turned it up a notch or two. Um, as they do come down this side now on the ball. Nice little pass around the corner there. And finds it to the edge of the box, and that's a nice goal. You've got to say it's a really nice goal. Um, kind of ideal goal for this kind of tournament. Um, potentially a little bit lazy towards the end there. They've got a couple of goals back, but we do mean to win it 7 2, which is quite comfortable. And me leading the way at the minute with five. Greeno and, and both on two. And Sam Templeman, five assists in two games for him. We absolutely love to see. Hey, Steve. Hey. I think you know what's coming. No, you're not. I don't know what you mean. How many goals have you scored for MHFC in the People's Cup so far? None. How many have you scored for other teams? One. Excellent. I like to keep it interesting. <laughs> So there's two games in and two wins on the board as well. Um, I think unlike our Wednesday nights, we actually get three points for a win in this situation. So that puts us on six at the minute. Um, yeah, very good in that. We had a different starting lineup and they absolutely whizzed off, I think, 4 0 up before I even came on. So yeah, really good performance to start off with. We were a bit slow in the last game. So yeah, good to get off to a good start. Let them back in a little bit at the end, mainly thanks to this guy who thought he'd take Joe's clean sheet away from him and nudge on the opposition a little bit. But uh, things like that happen, I'm sure we get a goal later to make up for it. <laughs> Oh,